And as we mentioned, the big danger in the east right now is the cold. David Parkinson, CBS News weather producer, joins me now to talk about just how long we'll be in this deep freeze. Okay, David, I know this is a major storm, but why is it so bone chilling cold outside? So because the storm was so strong, it had all of this power to pull in some incredibly cold air up from Canada. And so basically you've got a, a polar vortex, a Siberian air mass, however you want to describe it. Um, but essentially you have all this air that made it all the way down to Florida and basically is not going to be retreating through the weekend. So when we talk about your daytime high temperatures, we're going to be having record low daytime highs, which is to say it's never been not that warm, if, if that makes any sense, right? It's, it's sort of double negative there, but right. So nine degrees in Boston is your high. You're not going to make it to 10 degrees. And it's the first time that Boston on that day has not gotten to 10 degrees essentially. So there you go. Negative four is what you're going to get to in Burlington for a high. Remember, these are high temperatures. Philly at 17, Chicago at 15. So these are all ridiculously cold daytime highs. And then as we go into your morning on Sunday, it's even colder. These are your lows. Whoa, negative six in Boston, negative six in Binghamton, one degree in Philly. And I don't think uh, you'll even get to that in New York City. So those are your lows. Then we factor in the wind. So the way the wind chill works is it's it's the perception essentially of the wind removing the heat that's radiating from your skin. Yeah. So what's going on here is when you have 20 mile an hour winds and zero degree temperatures, boom, there are your wind chills. So if you see something in white on that map, mm -hmm. that's a negative 30 degree oh wind gosh. chill, which is going to be the case for much of the state of Vermont, upstate New York. Um, but even in New York there, you're looking at negative 20 for your wind chill in a lot of spots. So this is, is dangerous cold that obviously if you don't have power, that's a problem. But even yeah. if you do, you just have to be really careful about if you didn't uh, turn off all the water outside. All those kinds of things are things to be aware of. And then that cold wind chill is in case for all day Saturday mm -hmm. into your morning on Sunday and then then finally things get better. It's over then? I mean, in the bomb cyclone, can you guarantee it's gone for the so rest the of the season? So the bomb cyclone's gone for now. They'll probably, we'll, we'll get another bombing we'll cyclone We'll get another one, two, you I, think? I, I would suspect. Oh but gradual warm up here. Look at these nice yellows and greens. These are the temperatures that are, are slowly starting to make their way up north. So in Florida, where we were below freezing, you're not going to be that way. You're going to be in the 60s and 70s, back to kind of where you should be. Um, and we're dealing with a lot better uh, temperature situation, but I noticed the 30s at the and 40s. Top you know. of that map, it says Thursday p.m. Right. So that's the. So it, <laughs> and 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 the the top of that says gradual warm up, right? So each day is going to be just <laughs> a little bit warmer. So I'm, I'm double checking your graphics right, there. Right, is that yeah. really true? Till so Thursday? yeah. So yeah. So I mean, basically, you know, you'll you'll you warm up, let's say four or five degrees each day, maybe. So um, when you, it you make it sound so inviting, four or five degrees. Well, look, when, when you're starting out at zero, your baseline <laughs> is so low that at this point you'll take anything. You're right. And the other thing to remember with this gradual warm up is now we're changing the storm pattern for the West Coast where they've been so dry and they need the rain. They're they probably going to be getting that Monday into Tuesday. Certainly in San Francisco, they'll be getting snow in the Sierra. So as the pattern slowly starts to shift, good things happen in other parts of the country. too. OK. At least you're bearer of some good news today. I try to end on a positive <laughs> note. We like that. Busy week for you, David. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Rena.